Happy Sunday Funny everybody. Xavier back again with another video. This video rant is sponsored by the Churro Bugles flavor. I will come on here and do a review on this sometime this week along with reviewing the Nestle Quick Banana Strawberry flavor. So, which hat am I supposed to wear while I'm doing a recap of this game? My Heat hat or my Lakers hat? Hold on, let me pause the video. Give me one second. You're going to find out which hat I'm going to wear in a minute. Yes, I am wearing my Heat hat today. You know why? Because we're about to do a recap of last night's game. Between the Miami Heat and the defending champs, the LA Lakers. A rematch of last year's NBA Finals. I'm still surprised that my prediction of last year's NBA Finals came true. The Heat versus the Lakers. That's exactly what I wanted to see. And I'm surprised that that prediction of the NBA Finals last year came true. Finally, we're seeing some different teams. Sorry about that in the NBA Finals this year instead of the same teams over and over again. I was getting tired of the damn Warriors going to the Finals every year, and I was tired of the damn Cavaliers going to the Finals every year back when LeBron was there before he decided that he wanted to play for the Lakers. The Warriors went to the Finals two years ago, and they got beat by the Raptors. And that was the last time we see the Warriors in the Finals, hopefully. And then last year, it was the Heat, Versus the Lakers. And the Lakers won their 17th championship. Their first championship since 2010. And their first without the presence of Kobe. Who is definitely smiling down on LeBron and the Lakers for winning last year's NBA Finals. They did it for Kobe and Gigi. And hopefully Vanessa was watching. But anyway, let's go ahead and do this recap of last night's Heat versus Lakers. The Heat outscored the Lakers in the first quarter, 36-23. to But the Lakers outscored the Heat in the second quarter, 29-23. to At halftime, Heat 59, Lakers 52. The Lakers dominated the second half. They outscored the Heat in the third quarter, 25 to 22. After three, Heat 81, Lakers 77. The Lakers outscored the Heat in the fourth quarter by Deuce, 17 to 15. But it was not enough for the Lakers as they fall to the Miami Heat, 96 to 94. The Heat are now 13 and 17 as the Lakers fall 22 and 9. Kyle Kuzma, 23 points, 4 rebounds, no assists. LeBron James, 19 points, 9 rebounds, 9 assists. Contavious Caldwell Pope, 11 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists. Wesley Matthews, 10 points, 8 rebounds, 1 assist. And Marcus Gasol, 6 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists. For the bench, they get 25 points. Montressel Harrell, 18 points, 10 rebounds, no assists. Alex Caruso, no points, 1 rebound, 4 assists. Taylor Horton Tucker, 5 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists. And Markeith Morris, 2 points, 1 rebound, no assists. Kendrick Nunn, 27 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists. Jimmy Butler, 24 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists. Bam Aid Bayo, 16 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists. Duncan Robinson, 11 points, 10 rebounds, 1 assist. And Kelly Olenek, 4 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists. 
for the bench, they get 14 points. Andre Iguodala, 3 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists. Tyler Harrow, 5 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists. Precious Achua, 4 points, 4 rebounds, no assists. Max Struss, 2 points, 1 rebound, no assists. And Gabe Vincent, no points, 2 rebounds, no assists. The player of the game was Kendrick Nunn with 27 points, 5 rebounds, and 3 assists. Both teams have six games left in this regular season. Tomorrow night, the Lakers take on the Wizards. Wednesday, they go against the Jazz. Friday, they take on the Trailblazers. Next Sunday, they take on the Warriors. Next Tuesday, taking on the Suns. And next Wednesday, against the Kings. Tomorrow night, the Heat go against the Thunder. Wednesday, they take on the Raptors. Friday, they take on the Jazz. Next Sunday and next Tuesday, they take on the Hawks. And next Thursday against the Pelicans. Before I get my thoughts about this game, due to the crazy-ass snowstorm that we had last week here in Houston, last night's Pacers-Rockets game has been postponed. So the Rockets got the whole weekend off until they come back to the crib tomorrow night to take on the Bulls. I believe the Rockets also have six games left this season. Let me see. Yep, they also got six games left this season. Tomorrow night, taking on the Bulls. Wednesday against the Cavaliers, Friday against the Raptors, next Sunday taking on the Grizzlies, next Monday taking on the Cavs, and next Wednesday taking on James Harden and the Nets. So I want to know, will James Harden get cheered or will he get booed next Wednesday when the Nets go against the Rockets? I doubt he's going to get his ass booed because the fans are still not allowed to go to the Toyota Center and watch the Rockets play. Because this pandemic shit is still going on to this day. I just hope it's the end of it towards the end of sometime this year. If not, it's probably going to happen next year. We don't know. But all three of my top three favorite NBA teams have a game tomorrow. The Rockets, Lakers, and Heat. So on Tuesday, before I go to my 3 o'clock appointment, I got to do a recap on these three teams. But this was definitely a great game. Congratulations to the Miami Heat for beating the Lakers in their rematch of last year's NBA Finals. Even though it was a tough loss for the Lakers, it was still a good game. This is one of the games that I wanted to see this season. The Heat versus the Lakers and also the Heat versus the Rockets and the Lakers versus the Rockets. Those were the games that I wanted to see this season. Three of my top three teams of the NBA going against each other. Like I said, congratulations to the Miami Heat. As for the Lakers, you guys did a hell of a job last night. But keep your heads up and get yourselves ready for tomorrow night as y'all take on the Wizards. And get ready for your game tomorrow night, Heat, against the Thunder. As for the Rockets, I am very disappointed in them for losing seven games in a row. Let me tell you all the seven teams that the Rockets have lost to. It all started on February 6th. They lost to the Spurs. 111 to 106. The Hornets, 119 to 94. The Pelicans, 130 to 101. The Heat, 101 to 94. The Knicks, 121 to 99. The Wizards, 131 to 119. And the 76ers, 118 to 113. Will the Rockets finally end? Their seven-game loser streak, or will they fall to the Bulls tomorrow night? 
We just have to wait and see. Rockets, y'all need to get y'all shit together. I don't know what the hell is going on with y'all. I was watching a little bit of Wednesday's game until our power went out. But I knew that the Rockets was going to lose anyway. And I missed Monday's game when they went against the Wizards. But Rockets, y'all need to get it together. Because I am not happy for what, what are y'all doing right now. And I'm hearing rumors saying that DeMarcus Boogie Cousins wants to be traded. We don't know if that's true, but we just have to find out and see if DeMarcus Boogie Cousins wants to leave the Rockets. But that wraps up my thoughts about last night's rematch of last year's NBA Finals between the Miami Heat and the LA Lakers. If you're new here, hit subscribe if you like the content and hit that notification bell for my next Lakers and Heat rant. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Leave your comment down below. I'll be back later to reminisce 19 years of Stone Cold Steve Austin getting revenge on the NWO from the February 21st, 2001 edition of SmackDown. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace. Go Miami Heat and go Los Angeles Lakers.